Hey guys, what's going on? I'm taking you to the I'm taking I'm taking you into the gym today to do an arm session. Welcome back to the tube. I'm gonna just strap on a little mic today and I'm gonna talk you through the session. So something a little bit different. Um, but yeah, just gonna spitball today. Gonna chat a little bit about goodness knows what. Um, a lot of people have been asking for some food videos, what I eat in a day, and this is a video that I'm hesitant to make because I don't like the idea of people thinking that they will look a certain way or, you know, attain a certain physique by eating a certain food or a combination of certain foods or what their, you know, people that they aspire to look like eat. And so I think it's a bit of a weird video to make, but I will make a video coming up on like some of the foods that I consume or some of the go-to meals that I have or like to have in my like repertoire. Like, yeah, just a few go-tos because uh, I'm a convenience eater. I eat just a lot on the go. Uh, but yeah, never base your uh, sort of energy requirements or food intake off someone else because that's not gonna ever work for you. Um, everyone's different. Everyone has diff different energy outputs, inputs, and needs when it comes to food, nutrition, depending on their schedule, how sedentary their lifestyle is, their sport, their training, their recovery, many different factors. But I'm taking you in the gym today. We'll get a session in and yeah, hope you enjoy. See you soon. All right, today's arm session. I'll be supersetting everything, so putting a tricep with a bicep, starting with close grip bench. Now, if you're prepared like me, have the dumbbells ready to start curling, but I will go get them, be back. I'll put my back on the bar so I don't swing or bend. Starting with a hammer curl for the bicep movement. Now, bicep, tricep, super small muscle group to train. So try and think about keeping your form tight over everything else. Hey, that means the elbow is nice and tight to the side. Transferring the weight through the bicep. Hey. And that is our first superset. So I jump through that probably four times to get warm. So I'll pick the biggest tricep movement I can think of, which is a close grip bench. So to me, that's almost like a compound movement. Um, a, yeah, it's very similar to a bench, but close to the grip accentuates the tricep more than the chest. Fantastic. Um, but that's how I'd start the session. And then I'll do four supersets like that for the entire session. That should be illegal. Mate, I guess it's I guess it would be sexism, but if we ask the men yeah, to chuck on the pants. And I do like doing that when I train. Feels good. It's liberating. Yeah. But did you actually see him in his ballet shoes? I reckon maybe we make a thing. He doesn't have to wear shorts, but just a longer singlet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's all. I'm totally going to It's confidence. Confidence is killing. Just know, guys, I'm filming right now, so that's all. That's all on tape. He's going to come with a dress. That's all on tape. Give them a look, Aiden, at what they're working with. This is what we're discussing currently, is Aiden's no pants in the gym. That is, that is dangerous. Fitness First could be up for some sexual lawsuit, but. I can't wait to watch that in the bloopers. <laughs> that wouldn't be in the bloopers, that'd be in main screen. All right, guys, back to our next tricep movement. So I'm actually using the hammer strength row machine to get this exercise done just because I feel that it gives me a seriously good straight in line pushing movement for my triceps. So set myself on something so I can't push with my back or legs and just a straight extension with the arm out with a simple pushing movement that will really accentuate your triceps. Oh. <laughs> 
Now, it's something different, but it's not your conventional rope tricep pull down or something like that. So nice to mix it up, do something different, but a very tough exercise. From there, we will now move into the next bicep superset. Next bicep movement. I'm not going to be fully in camera here, but I'm trying to go a little bit heavier because I normally do go quite light on the old seps. But for me, this is quite heavy. I'll go for about eight reps. Trying to not swing the weight up, keep my elbows pinned. So as you can see, literally only got about six reps of 40 kilos. So for me, I've always struggled with biceps. This movement, particularly to go hard, not a fun one for me, but six reps, nice and heavy, good to shock the muscle sometimes with a different rep range and try and get through some heavier weight instead of the volume that I normally get through. All right, next tricep movement. Straight bar, as you can see, straight bar, tricep push down. So we're going to set the weight off, create some resistance, keep the elbows nice and tight and by our sides. And then we're going to try and smoothly, only moving at the elbow, move the weight using our triceps down to almost our quads. So actually touching my quads there and then coming straight back up. So keep nice, smooth and controlled movements with such a tiny muscle that is the tricep. Be a little bit too light, getting through a few too many reps. But that's our third tricep. Moving on to a bicep. Bicep movement. It's called a Zotman curl. So what we're going to do? Start with the dumbbells by your side. We're going to curl them up normally. And at the top, we're going to twist and face our palms downwards, and then we're going to extend down. So working on the bicep on the way up. Bicep on the way down, but then also incorporating a little bit more forearm on the way down. So nice, slow and controlled as usual. Keep the elbows nice and pinned to our sides. Move the weight using the target muscle. Nothing but twist and control. I think this is our last bicep exercise, fourth one. We're going to be doing barbell 21. So this is a nice one I like to put at the end of the session because I feel like I get a massive pump with it. Um, don't need to go heavy at all. I'm literally just doing the bar. So that's 20 kilos. Um, seven reps at the low half of the movement. Seven reps like this. Seven reps from middle to the top end of the movement. And then seven full reps. So even with 20 kilos, it's going to be quite Difficult, already a lot of blood in the arms, obviously from the whole session. So we'll give it a try. And seven full reps. finished with four sets of those with the tricep that we're about to put with it but four sets of everything today so all up 16 sets of bicep 16 sets of tricep and your arms are going to be so full wow 
um, last tricep exercise for the session. We've got a dumbbell overhead extension. So things to think about. Only bending at the elbows, lowering it as far down as we can. So it's literally gonna touch our back and then we're gonna press upwards towards the ceiling. Keeping the movement as we've spoken about, nice and controlled. Trying not to move at the shoulders, but only the elbow joint. There we have it. Full bicep, full tricep, an arm session. That will have you, as you can see, literally full of blood. I've got skinny arms usually, so end of the session, you'll feel like you've got big arms for about 20 minutes, which is nice. But yeah, give it a whirl. Leave a comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see anything different, a video or anything in particular. But hope you enjoyed the session. And uh, next video I'll get up is hopefully a little bit more to do about food. So. Peace out guys, it's Friday here, so enjoy your weekend. All right guys, now that my arm session's done, I'm not quite finished for the day. I have to do my hammy rehab, so I've got three exercises to go through. First one is like a glute bridge or a hammy bridge. So I go up, hold, and then come back down. So on the heels as well, put a little bit more strain through the hammy, but just a simple bridge to hold and a nice slow lower on the hold. So this fucking shit for me is super tedious, but unfortunately it has to be done because I don't want to come back from injury and my hammy be weak or have excess scar tissue and work at a reduced capacity or, you know, other body parts get injured by overcompensating so trying to put in the work and do the rehab as much as it sucks oh. all right next movement that I have to do so I'll do these three in like a bit of a circuit I guess you could say pretty much so feet up against the wall and I pretty much bring my bum as close as I can to the wall until I'm getting a nice stretch under my hamstring. This is, when I was reading up on it, something to do with um, the nerve endings and sort of the signals uh, sort of being harder to transfer through the scar tissue. So trying to really stretch out the scar tissue and break it down so that sort of nerve endings and passages are, find it easier to signal through the hamstring, something like that. I'm not a physio guy, so that's just what I was reading up on it. But nice, hold this stretch for 20, 30 seconds, up against the wall. And then the last one is, I have legs like this, I'm holding the back of my hamstring, I then stretch out my knee to full extension, and then pull my leg towards me and my head towards my knee, hold it and back down. So, stretch, pull, and back down. So, that is my three rehab exercises that I'll be getting through in today's session guys, but thanks for joining me at the gym today. Uh, might take you to work later, might not. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and have a great Friday. All right guys, that session done and done for me. I will be now heading home, uh, doing a quick lunch. Don't have a lot of time on a Friday. Uh, I gotta go head into the city, get a few x-rays down on my teeth because I'm having a few problems with them. And then I'll be heading straight into work for the remainder of the evening which, uh, yeah, it's pretty tough to have a camera on the door of a nightclub, so probably won't be coming with me. But that being said, that being said, nothing. Have a great night. I've said have a great night like multiple times now. I keep like trying to do a better outro, but peace out.